let's take a look at a couple of examples on DVD and V-Ray. We'll start out with The Matrix. In 1999, The Matrix came out on DVD, and it was the first example that we're aware of of seamless expansion. Okay? So we're going, to we're going to keep our app for the white rabbit. The way this works is as you're watching the video, you see a white rabbit. It tells you there's extra content you can get to, and you click on your remote. It plays the behind the scenes and picks up again back where it left off. We're going to go to the dream world. And here on the screen, it says, follow the white rabbit. This option will play the movie with viewable hidden special feature footage. Whenever you see a white rabbit icon appear on your screen, click the icon with your mouse or press enter on your remote, and you'll be taken to a journey revealing the secrets of the matrix. In time, you were given specific orders. Hey, I'm just doing my job. You give me that jurist my addiction crap. You cram it up your ass. The order is for your protection. <laughs> I think we can handle one girl. I sent two units. They're bringing her down now. No, Lieutenant, your men are already dead. So the feature it finishes, we're turning off and we'll be left off. This is seamless expansion on DVD in 1999. That, that's just so exciting. It's um, as an inventor, as a as a thinker, kind of projecting forward to finally see it in the marketplace. Um, it's just very exciting. It's exactly what I had in mind. Let's take a look at how this works. So we have um, in purple across the top the main movie, and we get to a point where there's the white rabbit, the affordance for linking out to the expansion. At any point that we click, we come out, we can watch the expansion, and when it's done, it picks up again with a continuing segment. Okay? So um, the DVD spec had talked about seamless branching, which is the ability to link from one piece of video to another piece of video. And what is unique here in the Monkey Media Pens is the pairing of a link out with a link back that makes it an expansion and keeps the optional content in the context of the original video. Before this, without using seamless expansion, you'd have to go back to a main menu, stop your video entirely, and go watch your, watch your optional content, come back to the menu, and then go watch your movie, in which case it would start over from the beginning again. Okay, so much more engaging viewer, viewer experience, um, and pretty exciting to see it in a real product. On Blu-ray, we have a whole lot uh, more flexibility when it comes to programming these features. Um, more can be stored in memory, more can be done creatively, 
with the interactivity. John Lasseter from Disney gives a great introduction to the technique. And this is the Blu-ray version of Cars. Hi, I'm John Lasseter, director of the movie Cars. You're about to experience a revolutionary behind-the-scenes feature called Cine Explorer. You'll love it. <laughs> You'll be able to instantly flip back and forth between two commentaries. We did wedge test upon wedge test upon wedge test. In the world where these vehicles have intelligence, tractors would actually be kind of the animals. With Santa Explorer, you'll have the ability to switch on or off supporting artwork, such as storyboards, inspirational imagery, and personal photos. Plus, at certain parts of the movie, a short documentary or deleted scene will become available. Just select it, and you'll jump out to watch the documentary short or deleted scene. Hey, everybody, it's Lightning McQueen! And then return right back where you left off watching the movie. You can also choose auto mode, which will turn on the director commentary, display the art images, and take you in and out of the documentary shorts and deleted scenes whenever they're available automatically. It's that easy. I'll tell you what, buddy, it don't get much better than it. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, so that's Cars in 2007. Again, exactly what I had in mind. Both of those examples have are custom crafted. So at very specific times in the video, our affordances to jump out, watch the optional content, and come back again. There's another type of expansion that we call impromptu expansion because it's not tied to any particular time in the video. At any time during during the play of one piece of content, you can jump out and come back again. And it doesn't even have to be related to the, the core piece. They can be totally unrelated pieces of content. Okay? So we're going to take a look at an example from Casino Royale and expand out to an impromptu expansion. We're going to start partially through the movie. So we open up special features, come down to preview, Fall, please. and we're going to play a preview of the movie Handshock, clearly unrelated to Casino Royale. And we could be playing this off the disc, or we could be playing it from BD Live, streaming from the net. Okay, so we're going to fast forward as fun as that preview it is um, in the interest of time. Now the cool thing about BD Live is that you can stick a disc in several years from the date of manufacture and get to previews that are current and, and targeted, relevant to the current view, viewer at that particular point in time. Thank you! Okay, it finishes and you come right back where we left off. Monsieur Paul? Check. Check. Okay, impromptu expansion. Next, let's take a look at what's going on in digital television. <laughs> 